Hey there everyone, Atesh share back again with another video and welcome to the TypeScript series. Now through this series, I not only want to talk you through that how to write TypeScript, but I also want to get all the best practices that you should be using while using the TypeScript. So we'll be jumping through the documentation, we'll guide you briefly about what is there in it and this video is not going to be too much intense. We'll just talk about numbers and booleans. We have already talked briefly about the string and then I'll talk about the type inference which is mostly should be used but it is less being used. So let me walk you through with that. So here we are on to the documentation page and as we scroll up here a little bit we see that the primitive types that we are discussing, the string which we have already covered and the rest two are numbers and booleans. So we need to cover them up. Now these are mostly used as primitive types and string represent the values like this and then the numbers. Now interesting thing here which you should get from the documentation directly, not from any YouTuber or from any blog article but rather from the documentation directly. The JavaScript does not have special runtime value for integers, so there is no equivalent of int and float. And this is usually a lot of time an interview question as well. Do, how do we define specially the integers or float in TypeScript? We don't, we just call them numbers and that's how it is being defined. And that's how the value is inferred. I'll come back onto the inferred part a little bit. So let's write some code and take some example out of it so that we can understand more part of it. Now we don't need to create a simple new file for this one because this is already very simple and there is nothing much we are doing. Let me just remove this part that we don't need and we'll just go up here. So the two things that we are going to talk about, the first one being simply number. And remember, uh, there is again, there is a little bit more to it. Let me walk you through with the uh, simple example of the TypeScript. Remember, this is being called as that we have this number, not numbers. There is a special question around it in most of the interviews. So remember, this is a number. Now, how do we define number? It's pretty simple. Let's just say we are defining a user ID. So this is going to be a simple user ID. And that ID uh, simply can be, let's just say, uh, 334466. So this is what we have. In the case of numbers, we're going to go ahead and put an annotation here, colon, and then space, and then number. This depicts or this annotates that this user ID is number and should always be number. Now advantage that we get with that is simply when I say user ID and I put up a dot, all the values or all the methods that are available in JavaScript related to numbers, only those values or those methods are being fetched to me. So for example, to exponential, to fixed, locale, string, all these things. There's nothing much on the numbers in JavaScript and that's why only these values or numbers are being used. That's the basic, that's the number. And again, it doesn't really matter if you just add a 0.2 or 0.3 after it, it is still going to be the number. That's all. That's all it is. There is not too much of in-depth about the numbers. Yes, we'll go through in that later on. Now, apart from this, there is also a Boolean that we have to use. Now, let's just say, for example, you're using some values. Let's just say is uh, logged in. So that is something you want to track. And let's just say user is not logged in. So that is how it goes on false. And then there is something known as Boolean that we have to infer. Now, obviously, you get all the values and methods that are there for the Boolean. So later, later on, if I go ahead and say is logged in, I put up a dot, then we don't have much on the Boolean. It's just the value of what is the value of this particular variable, true or false. That's all the methods that we have. Now, here I want to bring your attention to something known as type inference. Now, a lot of people, when they get started with TypeScript, they are very much excited about putting up annotation with every single thing, numbers and strings and Boolean. But here, what is we are doing as not so good practice? What we are doing here is uh, we are making it too obvious. This is a numbers and just after that, we are putting up an equal sign and putting it as a number. Now, this is too obvious to do. Now, obviously, there is another way of doing and dealing with that thing is, for example, maybe you are not dealing it like that and maybe in the very next line, you put up and say, uh, that hey, now user ID is going to get a value, let's just say it's some value and a decimal value. This is still not a good practice because you are doing two obvious things and you are trying to overuse your TypeScript. Don't do that. This is not a good practice at all. There are some places where these values or these annotation can be avoided. You can just simply avoid to have a type. For example, in this case, just a previous case where we were having this equal sign, now in this case, whenever I use number, let's just say I go ahead and say number and I use a dot, not number actually, my bad, the user ID and, I, and then I use a dot, let's just say to fix. And this is the method that I'm using. Now if I hover onto the to user ID, it's obviously telling me that it's a number. And whenever you are actually defining any number and you are just immediately assigning a value it, 
TypeScript is smart. TypeScript can actually infer that you are actually trying to put a number in it and you don't need to do this. But hey, what's the point? We were obviously doing the same thing in the JavaScript as well. But no, my friend, there is a difference with it. Here, TypeScript is smart enough to automatically detect that you want to place a number in it. So that's why the value automatically is going to be assigned. So it is too redundant to just write a type in front on it. And don't you worry, there will be future videos where I'll walk you through where this is compulsory that you should be using it as a good practice and where things where you can actually avoid it. So in this case, this I prefer as a better code uh, compared to anything else like put up a colon because it is too obvious. Maybe you want to have too much safety, have it, no problem at all. But in this case, TypeScript is, TypeScript is already smart enough, it will still detect it that it's a number. And if you try to do something uh, which is not really great, something like uh, you try to assign a value, it will still give you some errors that, hey, uh, you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. It is a type of string. Uh, it is a type of number, which I already deduced. And you're trying to assign a string onto it. So yes, all these values still come up it. So remember, uh, in order to write better code, it's not just always you follow these columns. And I see a lot of people just follow these columns and these types just in the start of the file that, hey, everything should be named in file. No, this is not how TypeScript work. And this is not the good practice of the TypeScript that should be worked. TypeScript is a little bit more of a complex subject. And that's exactly why we are exploring this one up here. Now, again, you now you understand about the type inference that JavaScript, that TypeScript is smart enough to get all the values. And if you're just assigning immediately, yes, this is still a TypeScript. You don't need to put colon every here and there in the entire TypeScript file. And in order to get output of that, we can simply go ahead up here and simply say TSC variables.ts, uh, variables me.ts. And this is still will guess, uh, get, a, get us all the values. Remember again, the syntax of colon boolean is a TypeScript syntax. So whenever a JavaScript compiled file is going to come in, it's never going to be a colon or the value. I hope you get the idea. I hope you got the best practice as well that you shouldn't be doing too much obvious thing. Yes, there is a special place where you put columns and the type of it. I'll walk you through with that. So now that we have gone through a little bit with the documentation along with me, let's go ahead and explore TypeScript a little bit more in the next video. Hope you have already subscribed doesn't feel look really good to again and again asking, but hey, 70% of you is not subscribed. So go ahead, hit that subscribe and let's catch up in the next video.